Today, we're covering the new Shrapnel LMG, the most awaited one that everyone's been asking for. You can get this gun from the Blueprint shop in the Wish Machine. Just go to Light Machine Blueprint and buy it for 8,000 Star Chrome. You cannot get this from Rolling and Wish Machine. There's only a banner called Echoes from the Rift, which has every single gun in the game, but the odds are very low to get this, so I don't really advise gambling here unless you want to waste your Star Chrome. Now, this LMG actually might be better than the Golden Scar. And why I think that is because this gun fires so fast, 700 fire rate, while the Scar only has 515. LMG does deal less damage than the Scar. The Scar has 277, while the LMG has 188 but its max size is 75 and scar mag is only 30 so with this gun you'll be shooting forever and ever and still have enough bullets to kill many mobs now why this gun is so special is because there is unlimited amount of damage that you can do with it so if you have insane amount of magazine capacity you will keep getting more and more damage over and over there is no cap however there is a problem with this gun and it has three main problems well the first one is the description is wrong Yes, it's always wrong. They never, Star Studio never gets the description right. So I'm always here for you guys out there to get the correct description before they fix it. If you take a look at this Frost, Vortex, Silent Anabasis, they have finally fixed the description and it finally says 20% for Frost elemental damage and Crystal Stack up to three times. But what's really weird is that they the description before was the correct one and now they messed up the description and made it incorrect again. Some of it is correct. I don't know what's up with the devs. Anyways, I'm gonna go right click the gun go to details, click X on I keyboard. And now this is a passive for shrapnel itself, not the gun. So it's kind of important to know this, but when you hit an enemy with a bullet, you deal 50% attack as weapon damage. Basically, the damage you deal with shrapnel will be 50% of your actual gun or bullet damage to a different random part the additional damage can crit it can hit weak spots but it will lose damage over distance which is another problem of this lmg if you shoot far you lose a lot of damage we have 806 now damage we're doing 691 damage 599 and the further you go the less damage you're gonna do the closer you are the more damage you're gonna do the third problem for this gun is you can see when i shoot Boom, we trigger lots and lots of shrapnels. But above my health bar, you can see a icon. When I shoot one bullet, the number goes up by one. One bullet, up. And on 12 bullet, you trigger shrapnel. So you can see that the numbers keep going up and up and up. But in a scenario where there will be times where the game, where the servers are lagging, you will not be able sometimes to proc shrapnel. So you will lose a lot of damage. This is the main problem with this gun. Triggering these shrapnels. Sometimes you'll trigger them, sometimes you won't. And yeah, that's one thing you need to keep in mind. If your ping is a little bit high, then this gun might not be for you. If your ping is very low, then I think you'll be fine. Moving on, let's read the actual description what it does. So trigger shrapnel after every 12 hits. Okay, we got that. For every 40 magazine capacity, you will gain a shrapnel hit part plus one. So my LMG has 115 magazine right now. And if I shot the target, boom, we trigger only three shrapnels, as you can see. Boom, one, two, three. Now, if I get more magazine size here, let me reload the gun. We're going to have 147. We triggered four shrapnels now. Boom, one, two, three, four. When I shoot so much and empty my mag out fully, I have 185 magazine size. And this is only because I have a calibration. When reloading, a load extra ammo equal to 50% of the shots fired within 20 seconds from the last magazine. The extra ammo gains plus 10% attack and extra ammo cannot exceed 100% of the magazine capacity. That's why we have so much ammo. Where it says for every 40 magazine capacity parts hit by shrapnel plus one, you need to have a 160 magazine to get that max stack of shrapnel hit parts. Now, this description is kind of wrong in English. If we take a look at the Chinese language, it actually says for every 15 mag capacity over 100, shrapnel damage will be 8%. Not 15, but 8. And we will test this later and you'll see. And lastly, it says magazine capacity is 40 instead of 8. Now, I don't get it how, why it says 8, but I guess the devs just somehow messed this up. If you take a look at the actual mag size of the gun, let me remove its mods. It has a mag on it, so it's going to be 75 now. 75 plus 40, how much is that? That is 115. So I'm going to equip the gun, equip it again. And you can see when I reload the gun, we have 115 magazine size. 
This last part is not 8 magazine capacity, it's 40. And that's basically it for this gun. This is the description of it. Pretty simple. The only misleading part is the shrapnel damage plus 15%. Now, shrapnel damage plus 15%, it's actually a hidden stat that you cannot see in the game. Neither you can see it in the inventory stats. So I'm going to show you something. If you equip a mod for the shrapnel, which is shatter them all, you can see that the more parts shrapnel hits, the higher the shrapnel damage. Each part plus 15% up to 45. Let's equip this. I'm going to equip the gun and press C in inventory. Scroll down. Now we have 47.4. Now you need only three shrapnel hit parts to get 45%. And then with this mod, it gets maxed out. So 45% is the cap. That's where we're getting the 45%. And then we have a substat, which gives us 2.4% damage bonus. But remember the passive that when our magazine is above 100, we get 8% shrapnel damage. Right now it's above 100 only by 15. We are supposed to get 8% shrapnel damage, which we are getting it. I'm going to show you. All right, so let's take a look at our damage. We are on 303 damage. This is what determines our shrapnel half damage. So we take this number, yoink it in the calculator, 303 minus 50%. That would be basically this. So I just have to put it here. What multiplies our shrapnel damage is weak spot damage, crit damage, weapon damage, damage bonus to lead, damage bonus to common, bosses, enemies, all these three, and then shrapnel damage bonus. There's also shrapnel crit damage bonus and shrapnel weak spot, but you cannot see them because I don't have these stats. But we're going to take this 47.4. I'm going to actually unequip this mod. And you can see that there's no shrapnel damage bonus right now. We're going to put an 8% here because that's the shrapnel damage bonus for having an excess of 100 magazine capacity. So every 15 magazine capacity you increase, you gain another 8%. So it's going to be 16, it's going to be 24, you get the point. So let's see if this damage matches with our dummy damage. So I'm going to shoot 11 times and now look at the shrapnel damage. Lastly, another thing we need to consider when calculating the damage is the gun is impact. So if I right click this, click details, you can see it has impact, deals more damage against protocell. The dummy is considered a protocell enemy type. So you'll just deal 25% more damage to it. And if you take a look here, I will add 25% here. That's the exact amount. And the damage total is going to be 204.53. It's going to get rounded to 205. Now when I shoot the dummy and trigger shrapnel. 205. Right now when I reload the gun, we have a total amount of 121. So if I went to 130 magazine capacity, we will get some additional damage. So let me reload this. I'm gonna put a magazine capacity mod on this. So now we have 135. So that means we're gonna get 16% shrapnel damage bonus. But again, you can see it's not showing up here. So let's put this instead of eight to 16. Our damage now is gonna be 219.67, but it's gonna get rounded to 220. So let's see, let's trigger the shrapnel. Boom, 220. So it's working. Let's test it last time to make sure it's actually, actually working. So let's put something like a magazine capacity mod on the helmet. Basically, when you reload an empty magazine, you get magazine capacity plus 30%. Just any random mod. And now I have to reload, unequip the gun and re-equip it. The gun's gonna get reloaded from zero bullets. We're gonna have like a lot of ammo. So we have 176. Okay, so that's supposed to be 40 shrapnel damage bonus. 15 multiplied by 5, that's what, 75? So we're putting 40 number over here, and let's see if the numbers match. We're supposed to do 265 damage. We're doing 268. Now, we're doing a little bit more because weapon damage bonus is 1.2. I forgot to add that in. So let's just add a new multiplier and put in 1.2 over here. That's our weapon damage bonus. Really, I should put this below so it's less confusing, but 268.31. Now when I shoot the dummy, it's going to be 268 shrapnel damage. All right, so it's matching. And what this means is that we can keep getting more and more and more shrapnel damage until you go crazy with it. Until you get like, I don't know, 400 bullets or something in it. And if you did get 400 bullets in the LMG, then that would be basically here instead of 40, we'd have 160 which is quite a decent amount. And then of course, this is a separate multiplier. Let's add a new multiplier that comes from the mod itself. I'm gonna show you. But basically the mod, which is the shatter them all, we can get a 45% additional from that. 
So if I put this on, now if we check the stats, our Shemdel is going to deal 47.4. Let's yank that into the calculator, 47.4. This has to go back to 40 though, however, because we that's how much we have. And our damage now is going to be 395.48. Let's see, do we do this damage? 403. Now, the reason why we did 403 is because I forgot to include the 2% from damage against common enemies. So let's include that. Let's add a new multiplier, boom, and just add a 2%. 403.39, it gets rounded to 403. Going back in game, let's trigger one shrapnel. 403. The math is mathing. That shrapnel passive that you see in the description here on the passive of the weapon, you can see it's not 15%, it is 8%. All the math we tested, I mean, it's really literally enough proof, so. Okay, so while that's out of the way, that's basically it for the weapon's description. We covered everything about the passive. Now, what do you actually use for this gun? What's the armor? What is the build? Keep in mind, my mods are like literally not great at all. These are just the mods that this account had. This account has never played shrapnel, so I just put the best mods that I have with the best substats. I mean, just waiting for promo to grind shrapnel mods, you know, so just keep in mind. I will tell you, however, what substats you need to focus on and what's extremely important for substats. So the core effect of the mod you want to have is momentum up. You will get fire rate 10% for the first 15% of the magazine and then after you fire half of the mag, you get weapon damage 30% for the next 50% of magazine. Okay, great. Now, why you want momentum up and not something else is because the LMG already doesn't shoot slow, but it, you have a lot of bullets to fire, so you want to get fire rate. The more fire rate you have, the faster you're going to trigger shrapnels, right? Like, look at this. Look at the numbers go above my hellbar. Boom, it's going up from 0 to 12, 0 to 12, 0 to 12. So momentum up is the best in slot mod for the helmet. There's no other option than momentum up. Like you could be going with a precise strike here, but like all you're going to get is weak spot damage and you're going to lose fire rates, which means you lose DPS. You could be going with faithful strike, but then you would have to be shooting body shots, but then you lose weak spot damage and you, you lose fire rate if you go with faithful strike. So that's why I don't really like using it. Fire rate all the way, brother. Now, for the mask mod, we are using targeted strike, the bullseye suffix. Now, why you want to use the bullseye suffix and not violent is because crit damage on targets with the bullseye will be multiplicative to any targets that you mark. So, for example, I'm going to show you quickly. Let's take out our bingo right here. Shoot three times. We basically mark the target. And when I crit or do crit damage to the dummy, we will do way, way more damage when the target's marked because it's a separate multiplier. But anyways, to get the bullseye mod suffix, it's extremely hard actually. You need to complete high risk events. In the description or in the pinned comments, I'll provide a sheet where you can get full list of suffixes where they are obtainable, so go check that out. You could be going with a Shrapnel Carnage mod on the mask. And what Shrapnel Carnage is, is it just makes you makes your shrapnel hit more weak spots when you shoot in the body. However, if you shoot in the head, your shrapnels will not hit in the head. That's why it's kind of eh. And shrapnel weak spot damage will be 25% more. Still, this mod is not that great for this LMG. It's more for Dusty. The other option is to run explosive shrapnel. But however, this thing, you will need to fire 240 bullets to trigger that one explosive shrapnel, which is not good at all. The explosive shrapnel would work for the SCAR, but not for the LMG. Only option we have is to just use targeted strike. And just in a secondary, we're going to use a Vulfire to mark enemies. Now for the gloves, we're using crit rate. You can use a crit amplifier, which will give you 10 crit rate and will give you 15% crit damage. Both work, but it all depends on the substats. And I will get to the substats later. I'm just going to go through all the mods first. Only crit rate or only crit amplifier. Now, there's two options for the pants mod. It's either Bullet Siphon and it's either Dead Shot. Now, of course, Bullet Siphon will be better if you have not enough crit, but Dead Shot will be better if you have enough crit rate. Crit damage boost is huge, which is going to give you 15% from the substats and then 45% from the core effect. Just stick with a Dead Shot, put Yoink a Dead Shot on the pants mod, and that's about it. Lastly, for the boots, you want to have Covered Advance. You can change Covered Advance to Rootless Reaper. And after you get two kills, you will refill 100% of your ammo from your reserves. So that's pretty much it. But Covered Advance will give you 20% weapon damage after four seconds of not taking damage. And then you'll keep that buff for 30 seconds. So this is really great. It gives you a, it gives you a lot of damage. Now, instead of the top piece mod, you could be using a Rejuvenating mod. So when you kill 
mobs, you will get healed HP. If you don't have good gold mods for the top piece, then use weapon damage and crit damage and then a bonus multiplier like gray ones or normal enemies for the chest piece. But mainly, you always want to have a gold mod that is like rejuvenating or whatever mod you like. Just put any mod you like. Now, what do you want to get for the mod substats? Like, what do you focus on? You want to, if you're bossing, well, obviously you will need to get damage against gray ones because that will boost your damage by all the bosses. All the bosses that have huge health bar, this damage against green ones will work. Now what do you want to get for the first substat is obviously crit damage, that's it. Third substat is gonna be mags and capacity and fourth substat is gonna be weapon damage. Now to get these four substats is gonna be extremely hard. Good luck guys grinding for these substats. It's gonna be like, I don't know, 0.01% to even get that kind of rolls. You should focus on magazine capacity and you should focus on weapon damage as well. Now, you should try to get mostly weapon damage, but this gun will benefit from magazine capacity as well, because as we tested, the more magazine capacity you have or the more ammo you have in the mag, the higher your shrapnel damage will be. Every 15 ammo, you get 8%. So that's why magazine capacity is great. And you want to get these substats on every single mod, except the bullseye mask. As I mentioned, you want to get crit damage on targets with the bullseye, Obviously, golden will, would be the best for the mask. So the best substats for the bullseye suffix would be crit damage on targets with the bullseye. Max is 18% for the gold substat. And then you want to get the bullseye duration so the enemies are marked longer. And then the last two substats for PvE is damage against gray ones and damage against elite ones. These, this would be literally ideal, the best, since you cannot get weapon damage on it, so... And for the gloves, for the boots, everything applies the same. You want to get crit damage, damage against green ones, weapon damage, or magazine capacity. Now, for the armor that we use for this gun is Cage Helmet. And I will explain this, why we're using Cage Helmet. Cage Helmet is best in slot armor for the LMG. You want to have four lone wolf pieces, and you want to have one Bastile. Bastile is a little bit annoying, because when your HP is above 70%, you get weapon damage 10%. I honestly hate using Bastile, but... For this gun, you have to use it, because the more weapon damage you have, the better the gun's going to perform. Sadly, you will lose a 10% weapon damage when your HP goes below 70%, so you have to keep your HP always up. Mod that you want to put on your gun LMG is Shatter Them All. There's no other option. I'm not going to even explain this, because this LMG hits so many parts. The cap is 3, so it's 45% you're going to get shrapnel damage bonus, which is a lot. And then for the accessories, you want to go with, well, obviously, you need stability, accuracy. But then again, if you put range, which if you put a silencer, you get 59 range. The range is the best for the shrapnel because the more range you have, the less fall off of damage you have for the shrapnel. So keep in mind, though, suppressors are kind of annoying to control. There's little stability for that. So you have to put this side here. You can go with this side, but you lose recoil is going to be a little bit harder to control. So you would have to put this. And then for the lasers, you put either this for recoil, if it's annoying for you, or you put this one for accuracy. The gun's going to shoot more in the center, but it's going to kick hotter. And then for the magazine, you definitely need the gold mag because more ammo, more damage. Don't go with the purple one. And for lastly, for the cradle now, when using pistols, light machine guns, you'll gain 15% weapon damage. You'll need tactical combo for weapon damage 25% after switching weapons. You'll need deviation master for more damage with deviations when summoning them. Lone walker if you solo dungeons. This is very important. Deadly combo after triggering bullet effects, bounce and shrapnel. You'll gain 25% more damage for your shrapnel. Then you want to have steady hand for weak spot damage 20%. For bullseye, that's when you use Volfire. We'll get to that later. You want tracking bullets, dealing, weak spot damage grants 2.5% shrapnel damage, and then 3.5% shrapnel crit damage for 6 seconds, up to 10 stacks. Really great, you need this. And then lastly, Bounty Hunter. Hitting a marked target grants 5% weapon damage for 8 seconds, up to 6 stacks. You also need this. And switching weapons removes half stacks. So, all you have to do is just swap to your Volfire or Bingo. You can use Bingo as well. Make sure you mark the target like this and swap to your LMG and start blasting. Um, why you want to use Wellfire, to be honest, and not Bingo, is because Wellfire it will give you weapon damage 25% for 10 seconds if there's no enemies around, it's just one enemy. So if you're fighting one enemy, solo, single target, you're going to get that boost damage. However, if there are enemies around, then Bingo might be better because you have to shoot Bingo three times and you're going to get a 45% weak spot damage boost. 
which is actually a huge damage boost for this LMG because if you hold LMG in your hands and check your weak spot damage, you have only 38%. So with the bingo together, you gain 45. That's going to be 83%. And it's going to be extremely balanced with weapon damage bonus. Your damage is going to be very high when you shoot in the head. So it might be better to use bingo if you don't like Wellfire, but two of these weapons work and on bingo or Wellfire, you want to have vulnerability amplifier and that's just going to do more damage by 8%. It's just a new multiplier. And that's basically it. And then lastly, for the calibrations, you guys want to use fire rate. The overflow calibration works as well, but fire rate is just going to deal more damage because you'll shoot faster and the shrapnels will proc way faster. You also want to get two times crit rate on the substats, of course. That's basically it for this video, ladies and gents. Um, this is not endgame yet because we don't have the great mods. Eventually, I'll try to update this build for endgame and make a full sheet list of this. It's actually in the works already. But ladies and gents, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.